What's up? Welcome to Real WW Talk. I'm Erin. I'm Candice. And I'm Ricky. Ladies, ladies, it's just the three of us this week. It feels so weird. Last week we had guests. By the way, you can still check it out on our podcast and on YouTube. We had the um, healthy foodie girls joining us talking about recipes, but it's just the three of us this week talking Aww. about <laughs> all of our favorite things. You're How are stuck you stuck with us? All three of us are stuck <laughs> together. <laughs> As I was, it's like my brother would call, um, he's the firstborn. He called my mom, dad, and him, the original three. It's the original yeah. three right now. <laughs> We're yeah. back with the original three. <laughs> uh, all right. Hey, what about our, our week? How was your, how's your week? Well, um, in terms of order, actually, Aaron, you're first. Oh, so I'm it. You wanted to kind of go. <laughs> I, I was ready. I was ready this time. Like I knew you were going to say, hey, those. I was ready to go. Yeah, that's on you. Good job. Well, um, <laughs> let's see. This week was... This week was good. Um, you know, I made the decision last year uh, to maintain over the holidays. And I've made that same decision this year to maintain over the holidays. So um, I've been trying to work on very poorly. I say I'm trying to, which means I'm not. So I need to do better and say that I am doing this. I need to be more intentional about that, um, which will actually dovetail in today's conversation. Uh, drinking water. I have not been great about drinking water. I need to up that as well as more consistent with the exercise. For some reason this year, this Christmas, I don't think that I'm any busier this Christmas than I was last year, but not having the accountability of the step bet has made it really easy for me not to prioritize the exercise in the way that I did last year. So, um, I really miss that accountability However, so I am still exercising, but it's more like down to maybe two or three times that I've been out this week to walk. So that's a little, you know, it's a little disappointing compared to like every single day last yeah. year. Um, but I am maintaining. And so that's some, that's some good news. And I just went out mm -hmm. and bought a whole bunch of peppers and I bought some ground turkey so I can make my unstuffed pepper bowl. And I'm going to be making that tomorrow for lunches. And I'm very excited about that. And you've been still been having issues with your foot, right? With the plantar fasciitis. Yep, with the plantar fasciitis. Yep. Yeah. So hope you're yeah. giving yourself some grace with the exercise, you know, because that's tough. I am. But where, what I've also told myself, though, is there are other exercises that I can do that don't involve walking. So mm -hmm. I have my exercise bike. I could get on my exercise bike or I could do some yoga or I could mm -hmm. do some other strength training things. So I need to switch my exercise. Like I'm, mm -hmm. I'm giving myself some excuses that I shouldn't be giving myself some excuses. Now I was trying to give for. you an excuse. See, I tried to help <laughs> you. Out there. there you You're go. Trying. No, no. I need That's to right. be on my Peloton. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I have to, I have to hold myself accountable for it. <laughs> you good oh, and WW member. I'm proud of you. Yeah. And I hope you're prepared to share that recipe, Erin, because you know, People are gonna ask for it, so just get ready. I can <laughs> Might as well post, post it right Ooh, now. That recipe that Aaron talked about, I can't find it. So. Y'all, this thing is so yummy, but I'm I'm switching it up because you you um you're supposed to bake it, but I'm actually going to turn it more into like a not a chili. That's probably not the right word for it, but it gives you an idea of like kind of the consistency. Just mm -hmm. very warm, and I realize that when it comes to fall and winter time. I prefer to have all of my vegetables and everything together in one big bowl mm -hmm. and eat it that way. I, I don't know why, but that's how my brain and my stomach would rather have it than like lots of odds and ends that I've got to all microwave at once. I don't know, who knows why, but that's how I operate. But yes, I can post that recipe because it is very delicious. So have you seen this thing going through about this lasagna soup that everyone's talking about? It's like a it's basically making lasagna, but in soup form, you take all the different Ooh. ingredients, the ground beef or ground turkey, mm -hmm. tomatoes, even the noodles or whatever you would use mm -hmm. that's uh, gluten-free if you didn't use that. And you, you make it into a soup. It's been all over social media. So mm -hmm. I was like, I'm sure they're going to bring that up because that's a hearty kind of way. And some people put cheese in it. Some people don't. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I, yeah. I was thinking about making that this week. And you made me think that about that, Erin, because it's a it's in a bowl. And yeah, all of the different ingredients. This won't lot. have any of the, this won't have any of the noodles in it. So I would say if somebody probably for me is on the gluten and dairy, no gluten, no dairy, or even prefers to eat maybe on the, if you're doing something closer to like whole 30 or paleo or low carb, 
um, my recipe would definitely fit within within that. But with this, like people are putting like zucchini, like the zucchini. I'm oh, not saying you wow. have to use the noodles. I was okay. saying yeah. whatever. So it, it's just, again, another. Are you know, let me tell you what I've seen. If you're going to do it, do it. Do that lasagna bowl. Put them on lasagna news and then put the ricotta <laughs> on top with a little bit of mozzarella and Parmesan. Please do it for me. Do it. For, yeah. If you can do it. <laughs> So noted. I will. <laughs> Ricky, how was Next. your week? It was okay. I had a, um, a decent week. I think I've been fairly good with preparing, well, actually pretty good with preparing lunches and breakfasts. I still, I'm on the struggle bus with dinner and I don't, I, I realize I don't have the same joy for cooking that I used to, mm. or even just, um, I don't even want to say joy, if that's the right word, just like, intention and, and um, intentionality behind it. Just saying, okay, this is what I'm making. I, I sometimes just thinking about like, oh, I have to get on my crock pot or I have to get like, will stop me from wanting to do meal prep or even just prepping vegetables, prepping, you know, whatever needs to be diced. And so I've been doing simpler things, which leads to things that I just don't, you know, enjoy as much. And I, and, you know, snacking gets a hold of me <laughs> if I don't have you know, enough to eat for dinner. So, um, you know, I think that's something I'm working through this week. I'm, I'm more prepared and I set myself a little up a little bit better. So that's a positive, um, you know, making sure I'm eating enough before I go home to, um, just setting myself up in that way. And Aaron, like you said, the step back, keeping me accountable. I'm, you know, not just sitting on my couch when I get home, I'm up, you know, making sure I'm getting those steps in and, um, that, that accountability is really important. Mm -hmm. So what are you making this week for dinner? So I have these, um, it's actually a frozen thing, but I have these enchiladas that, um, are frozen from, uh, Costco and they're like, I think keto approved or something like that. So they're not really high in carb, um, in carbs. And they're, um, I think 10 points a serving, which, you know, is, is for me, a, you know, a good amount for dinner. Um, and then I've been making some small smoothies. So I, I need to give Shauna the feedback that I did it. I, Cause I just made it tonight. I made a smoothie with the organic, um, I think it's called is origins. Um, the blend organ, organ. organ. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Um, and I did just a bunch of greens and I had a frozen blend of some tropical fruit and it's, uh, it's right here. So Shauna, where's my camera? So Shauna, if you're listening, I am uh, trying it and it's pretty good. Getting my veggies in a different way. Yeah. You know, I'm a green smoothie fan. You know, I have one every single day and it's a, it's a wonderful way. And what I'm loving is that you are very aware that of where your triggers are, what you need to focus on. Mm -hmm. And I love that you're kind of saying, I'm going to take it. So like, I'm trying to figure, figure it out. You know, I know that I don't like cooking and I think that the problem or the challenge is one that I can resonate with, which is getting to a head. I always think that it's going to be this big, big ordeal and mm -hmm. it's going to be so many steps and there's no way that I can do it. And when you get into the minute, when you start doing it, it usually really isn't that bad, but the mm -hmm. thought of everything you have to do with cooking can sometimes make you say, just, I don't want to do it. So yeah. the fact yeah. that you know that, and even if you're starting off with things that may be pre-made or, you know. And not going out to eat, that's major. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, those are wins. So good to start off that's, the week a, that that's way. been a big hurdle for you is the going mm -hmm. out to eat. Like conquering yes. the going out to, to eat. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a big check mark. That's a big bravo start mm -hmm. for sure. Thank you. I appreciate it, ladies. Yeah. Candace, what about you? Oh, I've been step bedding, just <laughs> stepping and stepping and watching TV and stepping some more. So mm -hmm. I, I'm loving it. I'm loving the movement that I've been doing. Uh, I've been really also focused on the water, air, and That was something that um, for those who have been following my breast cancer journey, I am now finished with chemo and uh, re chemo and surgery. And now radiation is up. So staying hydrated is so very, very key. So I've been chugging water like a crazy person. I've been going to the meetings. I'm back in the meeting room, which feels really, really good for me because I personally need like the accountability of just weighing in in front of somebody and the community aspect that I really missed is there again. So uh, I've been feeling really, really positive about uh, my journey and the scale is starting, it's, you know, going down again. 
um, which mm -hmm. is a blessing after chemo and after all the things that have happened that kind of threw me into like a maintenance and kind of like mm -hmm. all of that. I can kind of, I can focus on those healthy habits and I've been making sure to get those fruits and vegetables. I'm not a hundred percent, but a lot better. So I'm proud. I'm in a good place. Yay. Yay. And I'm going to win that step bet. And I'm telling everybody, we're getting so much <laughs> positive feedback from people. I didn't know if I shared with you ladies, people saying that they hadn't been moving before this. Mm -hmm. And now they are intentional. We're seeing those posts in our Facebook group. Like people are so excited about the movement that they're doing. So Yay. I could be more pleased to see everyone getting it done during the most challenging time of the year. Mm -hmm. like, that's amazing. Really, really tough. Amazing. So. Gosh, I, you know, that makes me so excited for you. It makes me so excited for all of our people who are doing the step bet. I mean, this is the largest step bet that we've done. Mm -hmm. um, how many people did we end up? Like almost 300 people. Something oh, like not that. almost 300, 200? over 300. Oh, we're over 300? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, ma'am. Wow. I mean, that's yeah. just so, to me, that's just so thrilling. 342. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to be exact. What? <laughs> yes. That's amazing. 342 mm -hmm. people. I mean, that's so, that's just so great because you just think about what maybe what this time of year has looked like before in the past for mm -hmm. yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we get to this thing of like too busy, too many cookies, too many things. I'm just going to quit before I even get started and I'll restart January one. Mm -hmm. And the whole goal for us is to get ourselves to a place where we're not even thinking like that, right? Like we are trying to get ourselves to a steady place where this thing isn't in control of us anymore. We are in control of it and we're making good decisions for ourselves. And it, there's no punishment. There's no shame. There's none of it. It's just, what are the healthy things that I choose to do for myself? And this just happens to be one of the healthy things that you choose to do for yourself at this time of year to make yourself feel great. So kudos. That is so awesome. That's yeah. so great. Yes. So one of the things that we've been, I mean, we've dropped quite a bit already in our first 12 minutes has been intention, 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 right? Mm -hmm. And the WW theme for this month has been intention, being more intentional uh, for the reasons that we just said, you know, you kind of throw in the towel in December. So I've pulled up the uh, the guide from what was last last week, um, Candice, you have it as well, right? Yes. Because you were at the meeting on Saturday. Yes. Would you go through um, just kind of how it was presented there at the meeting, and you know maybe what some of the big thoughts, the big ideas were with yes. it? Yes. So so again, the theme central theme around December was intention, and our coach Nadine put three words up on the little board. Uh, I well, three sentences that had like the, the ending and it said, I value, I intend to, and I can. And we talked a little bit about what do those words mean, you know, to you when you hear it, when you hear I value, what, what does value, um, what, what are the things that we value in our lives and um, intention, meaning how can you show up in a way that aligns with whatever the value is that you said? And then what can you actually do? Because sometimes taking ownership of your intentions is, is that action step that gets you moving forward in the direction that you want. So um, you can actually find this in your app if you're, um, uh, if you have the app and you go to the part, it's right after the bullseye kind of shows you what the, the week's topic was. But the example would be, I value how good I've been feeling. So mm -hmm. I intend to keep up my progress. I can prioritize food tracking even when I get busy. Mm -hmm. For me, I'm, you know, I love exercise. So I was saying I value how, you know, how good my body feels when I move. Mm -hmm. so I intend to exercise five days a week and I can prioritize exercise in the morning, you know, and mm -hmm. that to me gave me an action step. And that's what we left with the meeting with. We all had our action steps that we took from the intentions and the value that we created with those statements. I thought it was just a really wonderful way to reframe and to take yeah. accountability for your journey. Mm -hmm. I love that. So as you're thinking about, maybe we all can kind of do this exercise together, you know, wherever you are, let's just, let me, let's just kind of do it together mm -hmm. um, with the I value statement. What's most important to you as you close out this year? Mm -hmm. What is it that you value most? And maybe just 
take a second and say, I value, and now fill in the blank with what you're thinking about that you value. I will tell you, as I think about what's most important to me as I close out this year, what I value is maintaining and honoring the work that I've done this year. Mm -hmm. I really value, I value the work that I did and and I don't want to undo that with just one month of, you know, craziness. I want to keep that 11 month perspective of all the good things that I've done, all of the great exercise that I've done, all of the great, you know, nourishment that I've put into my body. I really value, I really value that. Mm -hmm. Um, How does that, what do you think when you, when you think that what's the most, what's most important to you as you close out this year? For me, I mean, This year, I know, I mean, I'm sitting next to, again, (laughs) virtually next to Candace. So I know that my health this year didn't have the same challenges as you, Candace, but I do still feel like I had a lot of health challenges this year that, um, that I are, are all resulting, a result of, um, you know, unhealthy choices, unhealthy food choices. So for me, I do value my health and, um, thinking about, you know, all the years that I've kind of, I don't want to say skated by, but it's like, I've I've known that I could get diabetes and I don't have diabetes, but I've been flirting with this pre-diabetic range for a while. And, and then with the stomach issues and things, um, I've really had to think about, you know, why do, why have I made so many kind of self-destructive choices and, and, I do value my health and I want to, my behaviors to align with that. Um, So that's why I think that's something that I value and I want to show and, and act more like I do value it in this coming year. So that sounds like, you know, as we move then into the second step, that next question is how can you show up in a way that aligns with that value? Mm -hmm. And so that next statement, we would transition into saying, I intend to. Mm-hmm. So, cause like for mine, I, even though I said the exercise, like one of the things that I want to focus on intentionally in terms of what I value for the end of the year for me is self-care. Mm-hmm. You know, I really mm-hmm. value the time that I'm putting into myself um, in a variety of ways, because I feel like, um, That's something that this journey, this cancer journey has taught me is the importance of not only taking care of others, but the importance of, of taking care of myself and Mm -hmm. to giving myself the love and attention that I've given to others. Mm -hmm. So when you go into how can I show up and what do I intend for Mm -hmm. me, that what that looked like is carving out time in my week to dedicate to self-care whether that be, um, and and I actually want to make it more intentional, like an hour a day Mm -hmm. to self-care where it's not about my son. It's not about my husband. It's about whatever it is that I want to do, whether that be a bubble bath or doing my nails or moisturizing my skin, whatever makes me feel good. I'm going to give myself a whole hour Mm -hmm. to do so. Mm -hmm. So that's the second step. That's that's what it feels like for me for the second step, the intention. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ricky, it sounds like you're already there with the intention in the way that how can you show up in a way that aligns with that value for you? Mm-hmm. It sounded like I want to make sure that this is something that I value. Mm-hmm. Now my actions show that I mm-hmm. value it. Is there a way that you could strengthen that even more? Well, uh, so I think about impulsivity. I've talked about this before, but I really struggle with that in other areas of my life too. I, I feel like I, um, I, I can be impulsive with things and with choices, like especially visually, if I see something, then I think about it and then I want it. And I, I've had a hard time with, you know, again, a repeated thing we've talked about saying no to myself and um, feeling like life has thrown me different, many different no's. So for me to say no to myself, um, you know, it, it feels like, 
it's something I don't want to do. And I do acknowledge too, as we're talking about this, you know, what I'm really saying no to is, is saying yes to something more positive when I'm making healthy choices. But I think it, it comes back to me for, for this, um, you know, for my intentions is being intentional and noticing and acknowledging when I have moments of impulsivity or when triggers are, are in my environment so that I can make intentional choices and say, you know, Hmm, that may be something that in the staff lounge that I typically would go to, but I'm going to stop. I want to go do something else. I'm going to um, just distract myself or, you know, make an intentional decision to, to track it if that's what I choose to do. But taking it impulsively, not tracking it, and then maybe even taking a second one because I didn't track the first one is not the direction I want to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think a lot of people can relate to that too, you know, because mm-hmm. that's that intention, that, that, um, impulsivity mm-hmm. is something that, um, I, I personally relate to, you mm-hmm. know, when it comes to the visual, I'm a visual person. So if mm-hmm. I wasn't thinking about cake, but somebody brings over a cake, mm-hmm. all of a sudden I have to find a way in the moment to, mm-hmm. streamline my focus and bring that why forth, you know, yeah. and, it's one thing to, to know it, but it's another thing to actually implement it in the moment. And that that's tough. So I'm glad that that's a, that, that's a good intention to have. Yeah. It's a pa- like, it's a pattern. It's trying to mm-hmm. break a pattern when you're so mm-hmm. used to just doing without thinking. And all of a sudden you're like, Oh wait, I didn't even think about this. How do I train mm-hmm. myself to start thinking before mm-hmm. I do that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's uh, years of undoing and yeah. years, years oh, decades years. of undoing at this point. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. During the hardest time of the year. Like, and I mean, even right now, like during the time right. where everyone's like, please, January will be here in three weeks. I don't care anymore. You know? Right. Like, right. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Aaron, I think you? for me, I'm just going to, I'll kind of bring it back to the, the question and the phrase, how can you show up in a way that aligns with that value? And then I intend to. So for me, what I value is not undoing the work that I've done already this year and keeping that going. So, um, I intend to, um, I mean, this is honestly, this is a really great exercise. Um, I intend to get my butt in gear, frankly. Um, I need to, I intend to go back to 4 PM laptop closes, regardless of what's happening and going out for the walk. Cause that's always been my trigger. And I have, whether it's 4 PM that I'm going out for the walk or 4 PM that I'm stopping to do another exercise that my foot will allow me to do that I think is, that's my trigger. Um, no matter what happens, I had that really consistent and I had that discipline down and then the foot issue and then boom, it all went a helter skelter. So, um, I can still do that. I still can shut the laptop at 4 PM and do something that isn't walking. And I have to make that commitment to do that. So I will Mm -hmm. say that's an intention for me that I intend to do that. Mm -hmm. And, Um, and you have a really good track record, Aaron, where, the way that you started with your walking journey, I won't forget it. You came on here and you said, I'm going to start doing this. And then you did. And Mm -hmm. one day became two, became three, became a month. Mm -hmm. And before you knew it, you were like, I've just been doing this consistently. It's just Mm -hmm. been part of my, so it shows you you've done it before and you can do it again. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's the old Yoda, um, do or do not. There is no try, try. right? (laughs) There's there's no try. (laughs) Either you are doing it or you're not doing it. Master, get mm-hmm. off the pot, as my grandmother would say. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> yeah, my grandmother said that too, but not that nicely. No. <laughs> I love grandmothers. Let's say it. Uh, so, so that's our, so our first two. I'll just do a quick refresh. What's most important to you as you close out this year, and then follow it with I value this. How can you show up in a way that aligns with that value? I intend to. And now the third part of this is. The third and final part is what actions will help you follow through on that intention? I can, and then fill in the blank. So I'll just, I'll do that again. So as you're, as you are listening, whether you're in the podcast or, you know, you're watching us do this, think about what you can do. What actions will help you follow through on that intention? And now I can, Mm. So Candace, I'll throw it to you. 
Okay. Uh, self-care, yep. right? You intend and now I can. So I was going to say I can uh, have three bubble baths this week after Isaiah goes to bed. I know that sounds very, very small. Like that's something to me that is as soon as he's asleep, I have a window of time between that and bed that I can use to focus on self-care. And I'm choosing to do that with bubble baths because they're the best. And Candace, that even sounds like you've already rolled that even into a star goal. What? Are the- <laughs> Does that <laughs> right. mean I get a star? <laughs> right. Well, those are specific, <laughs> truly doable, actionable, and relevant. That yeah. plays into your self-care. You've said, I can, I can do this three times a week. And that's truly doable for you. That's mm-hmm. very specific. That's yeah. a very easy, actionable thing. And it's relevant. Too. I think that's going to be key for the I can piece, whatever mm-hmm. it is, because mm-hmm. I think the more specific you can get, it sh- it actually, again, takes away the excuses, mm-hmm. right? Because if you make it vague, then it's like, oh, well, I didn't really know if I meant. Nah. So yes, I agree. That was my goal was to make it specific so that I can't weasel my way out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Ricky, what are you thinking about when you hear that? Well, so I initially was thinking I want to keep my why close by, you know, that thing, but I know that's not specific. So I'm thinking well, about actually ahead, when yeah. it comes to the I can, mm-hmm. here's the thing it's an action that will help you follow through on your attention. Mm-hmm. You can say, I can and will keep my why close by. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then in order to do that, then a specific, truly doable, actual, relevant mm-hmm. goal. So what is, so then I would say probably the way that we would pivot that into, and so a way that I'm going to keep my why close by is mm-hmm. to write my why down and put it on the refrigerator. So every time mm-hmm. I go into the fridge, I see it. Yeah. Cause I would have like- said initially that was too, like I would have said, mm-hmm. or that, that saying, keep my why close by, I would have asked, mm-hmm. what does that mean? And that was, yeah. yeah. And I, I think for me, because it's, Usually at home, I I like I couldn't if I wanted a piece of chocolate now I could not find it. <laughs> like I don't I don't have I don't keep it in the house. It's when I'm out. So for me, I know where I would need that. Why most importantly would be probably you know driving home and at work because that's where I have the things that you know I could impossibly eat. Um, So I think I know something that I did before was I had a bracelet that had kind of a mantra on it. And I don't even think if it was a weight specific one, but I have to maybe pull that out just as something maybe to cue me because it's physically on me, um, short of, you know, writing it on on my hand, you know, um, I think that having some, something to cue me, um, it will be helpful. So I I think I'm going to get the bracelet out and keep it on my wrist and wear it every day and you know on my right wrist so I'm reaching for stuff it's right there i have um, such an inappropriate suggestion i really feel like you need to get a doctor. taser no i feel like you got to get doctor now and you got to get a picture and put him like in your car like when you pull down like and he's staring at you i probably you know, from a 600 pound life for those who don't know who doctor and i don't even know how to say his whole name i call him doctor now now they have I went into a weird rabbit hole because I think at one, I don't even want to admit this to you because I, you might still get this as a gift one day, but I think I was on Etsy and I was amazed by how many Dr. Now things there were. And I, I'm pretty sure I almost got you something for a holiday gift, but that I'm like, maybe I should just put it on my work fridge and dare somebody to take it off. <laughs> yes. Because for those who don't know, he, he will consistently, he says things like, you know, why are you eating that? You gained 30 pounds this month. Why don't you close the fridge? Like, you know, he he, he has no shame. So no. that was just my 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 interlude. I just Candace thought you is highly motivated by Dr. Now. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> wanted Erin to meet him. She you didn't do that. Like she went on a trip and we were all excited to we'll find Dr. Now for us. You guys, I went to Houston on a business trip and I had like, and Candace was like, get a rental car and go find his office. And I was like, that wasn't, I get to go meet him. It was, I need you to go stalk his office and find out where it is. Houston just get is him to huge. say you gained 30 pounds tit month. Like just get him to say it and like record it. <laughs> I will be forever grateful. And she didn't do it, guys. I just want you to know. 
true friend that is it's like (laughs) isn't houston as big as like the state of maryland like it's huge (laughs) you could have found it if you really wanted to you just you just you just didn't commit to the plan but that's fine let's go back to our intentions i did look up the address and it was like 30 minutes away from where i was oh Breaking oh, wow. her you case. admitted she, it. You admitted it. She's not it even now. making a good case here. She's like, I was no, only 30 minutes away from you. <laughs> but let's go back to our focus. Let's focus. Okay. No, I, I'm no. over it now. My heart, my oh, heart my hurts. <laughs> Sorry, Ricky. I don't think you need Dr. Now. I just thought that he'd be a great motivator <laughs> other than a bracelet. Like I thought he would be like a little more aggressive. Yes, I, we need to find a Dr. Now bracelet. That's, that's the answer. <laughs> Ricky, I think you are onto something. You should make it on Etsy. Okay. I would buy one. Oh my goodness. That would be okay. so neat. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> that would be great. Uh for me, actions. What actions will you follow through on that intention? I can. Um, I can. I can make it, I can make closing my laptop at I would say actually this week because I'm getting ready to go on work. Uh, I'm getting ready to go on vacation. I've got a nice two week vacation for Christmas. Reality check is where 4 p.m. would be normal. 5 p.m. is gonna be normal this week. But reality check is I can stop the laptop at 5 p.m. and uh, prioritize some sort of exercise. And then to make it a star goal at that point was, I, I think that I, I don't think, I will commit to doing three times this week. I think that's, I think that's doable for me instead of every single day. Mm-hmm. Cause I just don't think that I can commit to that after work every day, just because of the craziness. And I don't want to back myself in a corner. I want to come out of that proud. Like I've accomplished something. So I think three, three is good okay. for me. See how we're not being perfectionists. I kind of love that too. Or we're not yes. like, I will do this seven days a week in every single, I love this like consistent part of how we're talking. Look at how much we've grown. (laughs) I'll be bubble bathing it and Ricky will be all knowing her why and keeping it close by. And (laughs) Aaron's going to be struggling to get up off the floor. My my planner hurts. My planner. (laughs) My my planner. My planner. (laughs) Why do we have to make it sound so old? Like, oh. (laughs) Listen, I'm over 40 and both of you are still under in your 30s. I'm Look, just- I will be 40 next year and I am doing a big party. So I hope my planner can hang in there to get me to, get me to my party, okay? I hope my planner can too. <laughs> we all need them to dance at Candace's party. We're going to find something. Yeah, because I'm having a big one, guys. Everyone's invited. We know Mariah's going to be there, of course. You know it. You know it. Mariah and Oprah. Ricky's going to make it. Listen, Oprah, we just have a, I want to just go to Hawaii. That's all I want for my birthday. Bring me, talk, we can talk about the cancer. We can talk about whatever you want to, whatever's deep that will make you want to talk to me. So, all right, guys. Mercy. You guys. Okay. I think we probably just need to wrap this bad boy up. Listen, if you... I think this exercise is super helpful. Um, mm-hmm. If you aren't able to get to an in-person meeting, it's such a bummer because some of the in-person meetings they've, you know, they've had to close down and whatnot. Uh, but don't forget that there are meetings online that you have access to. Everyone has access to, and they run basically like every minute of the day. So it's worth it just to take a little time just to kind of maybe recenter and refocus a little bit, um, you know, through one of the meetings. But um If you haven't also opened your app in a little bit, right? If you open your app, you go to the very bottom and there's um, like four little icons at the bottom. And I'm actually going to go back to my app. Um, It's the calendar icon. Then there is the little bullseye icon. And then there's one that looks like a little, I don't know, kind of like a magazine. And that's where your weekly techniques are that you can uh, read through and get some good ideas. And that final one, is with the people that's connect. Um, you know, there's, there are people that you can connect with on connect, throw some questions out, get a little extra support if you want. I love, I just went into connect. And the first thing I saw was from uh, the official WW account on connect that small wins are still wins. And I think that's super, that's really great. Oh, can I tell you, I found something 
I saw this on Pinterest. It was an ad from w for WW on Pinterest that I think is absolutely hilarious. I don't know what's happened to WW social, but it has improved so much over the past couple of months. Like they're getting a little saucy. Monday didn't. FYI, Monday didn't want to be your diet starts now day either. It had plans, hopes, <laughs> dreams of easy, cheesy nachos. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Isn't that great? Oh my God. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's so great. Anyway. All right. Well, we wish you, you know, there's we're we're careening into the new year. We're careening into the new year and we can we can do it because we can do hard things. So filled yeah. with intention and like have have a great time going into the end of the year. We don't I think it's again, it's mindset. If we change our mindset around this thing, right? We don't have to look at this thing that's like hanging over top of us and I just need to get to the new year. Mm -hmm. What if we change our mindset when I can actually enjoy even the hard moments right now? They're never easy, but they're always things that I can learn about them. Last year, I learned that I could go through Christmas and maintain and even lose a little. And that was massive. And I know each of us are learning new ways to go through holidays as we're learning our way through this deal. So that's my spiel. I'm off my soapbox now. That's it. Ditto. Agreed. <laughs> Ditto done. All right. <laughs> Have a great week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>